So I never know who these videos are for or how it might resonate with others. I just know that when God tells me to put something out, I put it out. And I will say that my hope and prayer is that if you are seeing this, it is going to bless you. Friends, sometimes in our lives, we think that we might be able to find healing in the place in which we experienced the harm. When in actuality, you're not supposed to find healing there. You're not supposed to find closure there. You're not supposed to find common ground there. It happened so that I could point back to you. Because remember, nothing that occurs in our lives is ever about the other person. It's always about us. And I had an experience once where I did love someone so very deeply, y'all. And the thing is, is that in the midst of loving them, I also forgot to love myself. And in the midst of loving them, and in the midst of forgetting to love myself, I had all my baggage. And my baggage included what we call core wounds. And those core wounds were so unhealed in my life that I thought <laughs> that the experiences that I was going through that it had everything to do with that person not meeting those needs, not showing up in my life in the way that they said they would. What I realized through this deep inner life work is that I had core wounds that were triggered by that person. And they have been triggered by those persons. They have been triggered by the lack of mom and dad. They have been triggered by the experiences that happened for me in foster care. And they will continue to get triggered by that person, that person, that person until I lay honest about how bad I was actually hurting and how heavy my wounds were and what spirit showed me is that we have what are called core wounds that exist in our lives and those core wounds are betrayal humiliation rejection abandonment and injustice and when those core wounds are constantly poked and not healed over time they fester and they become so infected that they bleed into other areas of our lives and finally i got to a place y'all where i just started to lay in surrender and i was like god this is too heavy please show me i surrender to this process heal me I don't know how, but please, and I'm telling you, friends, I must have laid in meditation for eight plus hours, laid out, allowing God to take a spiritual scalpel and showing me how these core wounds were bleeding in other areas of my life, showing me how I had been trying to seek validation in the places that were causing me harm, showing me how that I never could receive healing from where I received the harm. The healing had to come from God. And when I laid in surrender, I also heard God say, return back to your breath, Mel, because I was crying and <sighs> because returning back to the breath, the oneness, gave me a sense of calm, not a sense, it gave me calm. And I realized in that moment that that's all I had was my breath and that was enough. And to lay in the state of surrender 
and to allow as I'm deep breathing God to begin to heal me is when I felt the chains falling and the weight lifting and I realized the area error error of my own ways how I had been trying to make man fill God-sized holes in my life and how I had been operating from my wounds. It's time to show yourself compassion and forgiveness. It's time to stop looking for them to heal you. It's God. Let it, let it be. Heal the core wounds, allow it to happen. Realize that that is your portion and then you'll be in a state of flow, not force. God loves you so much. He's using some little short-haired Afro lady on the internet to tell you so. Let's get this healing, friends. That's your portion. I love you because I am you and you are me. We're all interconnected. <laughs>